Hey guys, it's Mrs. O'Kane here with a lesson on theme and variations. So theme and variations is something we have talked about before in music class. So if you've been with me for the last couple of years, we did talk about theme and variations, I think in second grade. But if you're new to our schools, don't worry about it. We're going to go over all of that information today. So I'm just going to move myself out of the way so you can see. There we go. So again, we're going to talk about theme and variations. So theme and variations is something that um, happens in music often, and it's a type of musical form. So if I just click through the slide, we have our definition right here. So the definition of theme and variations is a musical form, and it's a type of music that starts with a theme or a main melody, and then changes to several variations. So let's think about what the theme might be and what a variation might be. So those are some vocabulary words that again, some of us do know from before, but we'll review them again today. So theme and variations dates back to the early 16th century, century, so a long time ago. Composers like Mozart, Beethoven, and Brahms wrote theme and variation pieces. And it's also common for musicians uh, to improvise var variations to a theme. So a theme is the main melody. So if you thought of a song like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, that would be our theme. It's a song that we recognize and we know. When you do a variation, that means you're taking that same theme and switching it up a bit. So composers often wrote variations on a theme by another composer. So somebody wrote a song and then another person took that song and did a bit of a remix. So think of um, in pop music and in hip hop and rap, how we have lots of remixes and we would take a song that somebody else wrote and then we would remix it a bit and we would create a newer version. That's a theme and variation. Theme is the main melody, the main song, and then the variations means that we switch it up just a bit. All right, so we're going to listen to some themes and uh, theme and variation pieces, and we're going to talk about some words that could we could use to describe the changes or the variations. So we have to use musical terms and, that we have uh, that we have um, had before and we've definitely learned about before. And you use these vocabulary words to describe the changes. So I have a whole list of changes. So let's review before we get to that. So again, we're talking about a form called theme and variations. The theme is the main melody or the main part of the song. And the variation is taking that song and switching it up a bit. So how could we describe some of those variations? Well, we have a ton of words right here, and I know some of them are kind of um, mixed up a little bit, so not sure what just happened, but I'm sure you can still read them. So we could take um, a theme, and we could change it in some way to create maybe a slow variation, or we could change it and make a fast variation. So we would be changing the tempo. Sometimes we would change the high or low, the pitch of it. So instead of having, um, you know, your regular old melody, we would bring it really low and we could have a low variation. Or we could go all the way up and have a high variation. We could change the melody. This word right here is melody. We could change the melody. We could even add harmony to it. And harmony is when we add extra sounds on top of one another that fit together. We could change the timbre. I know it looks like timbre, but it's timbre. The timbre um, is something we talked about in first grade. And timbre is the texture of the... Um, the music. So maybe we would use short sounds on a wood instrument and then maybe change them to longer sounds on a um, metal instrument, changing the, the instruments. We could change the rhythm, maybe change a ta into a tt, or we could change a tt into a ta. 
We could change the style. I'm going to jump up here to the style. We could make that style choppy or staccato, which means very short, or we could make it really smooth. So you could change um, any theme into different variations using those um, those words right there, those musical terms. So let's try something. I'm going to do a poem called Boom Chicka Boom, and I'm going to change something about it. All right. So this, it goes like this. This is the theme. I said a boom chicka boom. I said a boom chicka boom. I said a boom chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. One more time. Sometimes it's an echo, but I'll just do it for you. So now I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it really fast. So listen how it's the, it's the same poem, same words. I'm just making it faster. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. Uh huh. Oh yeah. One more time. It was much faster than I did what I did before. I could change it and make it high sounding. I could sound like this. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom chicka boom. I said a boom chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Uh huh. All right. One more time. So I could do all of those things. We're going to be listening to a um, piece of music that has variations to it. So let's now listen to um, an example, and I'm going to go um, over to the xylophone. So come on over with me to the xylophone. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. And we are going to listen to a theme that you might recognize. Okay, here we go. Xylophone right here. And I have to grab, oh, there they are, grab our mallets. Okay. So, if you forget, this is our xylophone, and on it I'm going to play a song you might recognize. And I'm sure you recognize that as Mary Had a Little Lamb. We're going with an easy song today so that we can make sure we understand theme and variations. So was that the theme or was that the variation? Well, if you said theme, you're correct. That's the song we know. That's the main melody. If I wanted to change it in some way, I would need to play this song so you recognize it, but change it just a bit. So maybe I would do this. Mary had a little lamb with some changes. Could you figure out what those changes were? Well, think about it. I definitely changed some rhythm. And I even changed the melody a little bit. So instead of I changed it to And so I changed the rhythm and the melody just a bit. All right, let's change it another way and see if you can guess what I did. Are you ready? Here we go. It sounded very similar to the original theme, but I made it higher, right? So I didn't play it down here in the lower notes. Oop. I played it higher. All right, so I changed it to high. I could do any one of those if um, I wanted to, to create different variations. Maybe 
This time I'll change it to Have you guessed it yet? I think you might have. And I'm sure by now you've guessed that I changed it to slow. So let's review what we have learned about theme and variations. The theme is the main melody, the main song. Just like Mary had a little lamb. A variation is how I take that theme and change it. Remember, it's still the same song, so you need to sound like the original song, but in a different way, like going fast, right? Or changing the pitch. Or doing a combination like I was I almost did making it high and fast all right so next time um, our next lesson is going to be about theme and variations on another song and you're gonna have to figure out what those variations were I'll see you next time guys bye